That should be good. Uh, that sounds good to me in my headset, at the very least. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the boat started as well. Ooh. So, you can vote using those FFZ emotes. Uh, the vote will show up on screen and we will play based on those votes. Uh, you can change your vote at any time. If it freezes, let me know. There's a weird issue with the hosting. If that's the case, then I will have to restart it. But yeah, Kirby's Dream Land. I bought this game for original Game Boy from a local blockbuster back when those were a thing. And I want to say I played the crap out of this game and probably beat it about a hundred times as a kid. Yeah, this game's really, really good. You think it's a bit dated? I think it actually plays out pretty well still. Um, it's different than many of the other Kirby's because there aren't actually transformations or anything like that. But that doesn't make it a bad game at all. It's just a very standard platformer. With really good music. Uh, the NES game, by the way, is really good if you haven't played the NES game before. I would suggest that. Hey, what's up, OZ? Good to see you, dude. We're starting off tonight's grab bag with a bit of Kirby action. Frick. Frick. There's a little bit of a delay from when you can actually shoot something out that you've eaten. Oh god, yeah, it's such good music. This game is an actual classic, that's the thing about it. It's just a good game. Whoop, frick. I don't think there's any actual reason to go out that way, if I remember right. Frick. You do have a bit of delay, like I said, which is the only problem I'm having right now. That's okay. Max Tomato and all that. I am definitely a professional gamer. Okay, yeah, there's no reason to go out this way. You're more familiar with Dreamland 2? I've actually never played Dreamland 2, oddly enough. I think I've watched um, Swordsman Kirby play through it with his speedruns, of course. If you're fast, you can get all three of these. And by fast, I mean, like, not me. This boss is very simple. Oh, frick! <laughs> I goofed. That's okay. Uh, it is, an, it is technically a better game than Dreamland 1. I have a lot more nostalgia for Dreamland 1 because of how I played it as a kid. Which is, of course, extremely biased. Uh, one thing I want to do real quick, am I crazy? Or is this like cut off slightly too low? By like a pixel or two? I think that fixes it. Or at least sort of fixes it. That was a microphone. That would have killed everything in the room that I could see. If I'm not mistaken. Alright. You can't actually attack while you're in water. Unlike later Kirby games. Where you have at least a, like a spout attack. Hey, what's up, Geo dude? Odin, indeed. Odin! Please go in there, thank you. This game's pretty solid. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it was the first, that's true. 
Alright, this is like a precursor. Oh, frick! I should be jumping instead of. flying up here. I don't know why I need this, but I want it. It has cool music. Which means that I have, like, infinite attack while I'm using it, I guess. Sure. Fireballs. I don't know where I'm going, actually, right now. Down? Ah. That was just bonus. Fair enough. They're pretty generous with health in this game, too. I think I... I got this game right before Christmas. One year. And I played the crap out of it on my Game Boy. Whenever we went to our, uh... You know, cousin's house or whatever for the holiday. Oh my god, please. Uh, I've bamboozled. Okay. Frick. This is going kind of badly. Okay, that was good that I killed that, because I didn't know what my plan was. I think the plan here is to not be dumb. Play it safe. Okay, that was close, but we did it. <laughs> you played it at your cousin's house? Nice. This game is good. Yeah, this game is definitely pretty easy as far as difficulty goes. There was a hidden tomato on the previous screen. Nice. That probably would have been useful. Real talk though, Kirby 64. Mm-mm. That's some that's the good stuff. That Kirby 64, man. Got him. Baby's first platformer. It's definitely not a complicated platformer, but it's an enjoyable experience, which is what they were going for, I think. Honestly, that's more important. I think you're supposed to use that microphone here on these. That's okay. This is like the Bob Ross of platformers. That's okay. Whatever, man. As long as you had fun doing it, that means you did it right. I grabbed the block behind it. What? <laughs> that was weird. Enemies will respawn if they go off screen as well. Something to note. Oh yeah, there was a hard mode for this, wasn't there? Frick! Water! Water kills fire. Pro tip. There are too many kids games that treat the players stupid or brain dead. This is an example I wish more kids game. Yeah, totally, dude. This game is just enjoyable. It doesn't have to treat the player dumb. They can learn as they go. Uh, the levels aren't necessarily complicated, but there's still stuff to, you know, know. And the gameplay is whimsical and fun. Like, you need, you need to know that you can eat most enemies, but not that one. That one will get mad and chase you. Don't do that. You need to know that lemons are the best. Because they turn you into a schmuck. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, whoops. That's okay. 
There we go. Boop. Not bad. Cheers. We might beat the whole game here, to be honest. In grab bag form. It's a pretty small game. Which is great, because that's exactly what you want in a handheld, right? You want a game that you can play quickly in the backseat of mom's minivan. Or dad's minivan. <laughs> you know. See, look, you can't eat these! Oh god! Ah! Okay, and then they explode. That's a learning moment, kids. Don't bite off more than you can chew. And also, cute things are deadly. Stay away from cute things. Unless they're really cute, then it's fine. Also, if you live in Seattle, umbrellas are terrible and nobody should have them. Yay! <laughs> Uh, a lot of Nintendo games are pretty good about being new player friendly, it's true. They they tend to care about a game that everyone can enjoy, regardless of age or anything else, but that isn't always true, of course. I goofed. Was Toy Story Game Boy Color? It was probably Game Boy Color, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. I don't think I ever played the Game Boy one. I did play the Super Nintendo one, which is a pretty rough game, difficulty-wise. Inhale things and not copy? It's only weird because you think it's weird. OH GOD! <laughs> it's only weird because you think it's weird. It's something you expect to Kirby now. Just like how you expect, you know, Waluigi to always be the best. I'm the best! I mean, he says it constantly. He has to be the best, right? Also, when are we gonna see a Waluigi game? That's long overdue. Maze. I didn't even need to go that way. I wasn't sure if there was something there or not. Rest in peace, Gordo. Oh god, Gordos do a ton of damage. He's like your soul brother. <laughs> Alright. This is like the easy version of this boss, which means I'm probably gonna die! Oh, why? I don't remember how to fight this boss. Or his attack pattern. Alright, we figured it out. What? No! Why? No! <laughs> Frick! I was beaten by a game. That's not very difficult. <laughs> I was like a pixel or two off from eating that enemy, so it didn't work. Wild Luigi is really good in most sports games. The Frick. That's true. Next bar and Luigi RPG has- Dude, they they need to do the Wario Waluigi team up. At the very least with the next Wario game, if they even do another Wario game, of course. There's gotta be something. To the lemon! You can also lose this, by the way, by landing in that water immediately. Which I would not suggest. Wanna go fast? This is a nice little like teaching moment. As well. You have to hit up there or else you die a horrible death. I 
Umbrella, please. Alright. Alright, time for the real fight. With, I think, Krako is the enemy's name? This enemy's really cool. Hey, hey, what's up, Hidden? Odin! Indeed. Frick! I got hit there on accident. I don't remember him dashing the moment he dropped an enemy. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. Oh, goes it pretty well, pretty well. I'm dying at Kirby, which is... Ah, frick! Which is great, of course. That was weird, I like Goomba stomp. Frick! Goomba stomped it. Hey, hey, what's up, AFK? Alright, you and me, bub. The attack pattern's random, I guess. Or at least semi-random. There we go. Thank you, RNG Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going well, going well. Got some Blackberry Cider. Starting off with a good game for Grab Bag. We're probably going to beat the whole game, to be honest. It's a pretty quick one. I beat this game so many times as a kid. Ah, I love it. Time for the refights. They even did a Mega Man refight. It's so good. Get him, Kirby! Got- alright, you just have to go touch the Kirby. Please no touch the Kirby. Alright, hard mode! They changed some apples to Gordos. That's the hard mode. <laughs> That's all. That's all they did. I think, anyway. Maybe not. If you hold down in this left corner, you'll never get hit. I even learned that as a kid. Easy! This boss is the one I have the most problem with. I just don't remember how to actually attack it. Without getting hit. Feed the Kirby, hug the Kirby. These are all things you should do. Frick! Oh, right, you just go in behind them. That was the trick. Of course. Alright, one down. Or do something like that. There we go. Low, 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 and la, la, la. Yeah, exactly. Alright, shmup section. By the way, I think this counts as a speedrun, although a very poor one, mind you. No one said speedruns had to be fast. Or good. <laughs> you just have to finish the game. That's literally all a speedrun is. Just finish the game. Or finish the category. Sometimes you don't even finish the game, to be honest. Yeah, this game is so good. And the music is just awesome. Uh, if you haven't gone back and played the NES game, or just never played the NES game, I would hi highly, highly suggest that as well. It's a very enjoyable experience. There we go, easy. Pretty much all the Kirby games are good, that's true. I like that big yarn too, actually. Frick. Frick. What? I got stuck. There we go. Alright, Krakow. 
Yeah, the DS remake good. So is the Game Boy Advance remake, actually, Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, that's a remake of the NES game, though. But it... It's good. That doesn't count as two hits, does it? Dang. Don't think you want to play all the Kirby games? Uh... That might be fair, actually. You don't necessarily want to just... I mean, yeah, not every game that's a Kirby game is when you want to play. Like, some of the, like, Canvas Curse or Tilt and Tumble or maybe not games that are super enjoyable to some. We're getting really good RNG. In this casual playthrough of Kirby's Dream Land. <laughs> Squid Squad's also really cute. I agree. Uh... Alright. D2D. I don't remember DTD in this version. He drops stars when he tries to hit you, I know that much. You also don't want to let him eat you. Alright, you have to get his hammer out, get him to attack, and then eat the star. And then hit him with it. It's pretty straightforward-ish. I miss- The frick! My feeling! He has a lot of health. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> Your soul is mine. Uh, hello? I, I don't know why he's running to the corner to hit me. I thought he uh, will stop and hit you wherever you're standing, but maybe it's because I was moving too much. Oh frick! What was that? He attacked the exact second that uh, he could. I might die. Frick. These hitboxes. Oh god. Hey, what's up, evil? We're probably gonna lose, but we're gonna give it the old college try. Ah, oh, that was a prime time to attack. I missed it. Ideally, I want him to do the jump attack, because that's my best chance to actually hit him. When he does these, I have very little time to actually attack him. I think it's random what attack he does. That would have been a good attack opportunity, but last time I waited on that, he just killed me. Because he ran to the corner. Yeah, those are the FFZ emotes, you can use the boat. Although I think we're almost done with this game, oddly enough. Trying to clutch this one out. It's pseudo random. Uh, some of it's, yeah, some of it depends on what you're doing and where you're at on the screen. So you can manipulate a little bit. I'm having a hard time actually doing that. I don't know if he's gonna come all the way and attack me or not. So, frick! That was close. Jump over here, you goofball. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Oh, frick. Mistakes were made. I inhaled on accident. Come on. Nope. Come on. Do the thing. No, not that thing. <laughs> Do the thing. No. <laughs> he won't do the thing. I'm getting bamboozled. Oh shit, that was close. I don't know how to manipulate him into hitting me. That would have been good. I'm too scared to try and hit him though. Oh, there we go. I inhaled an accident. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. 
We're going for president of goofing it. <laughs> Come on, do the jump thing. Where you jump. You know, the one with the jump. Do the thing. No, that's the hammer thing. I don't want the hammer thing. Hammer's not- oh shit! Oh, I'm gonna die! Fuck! <laughs> I don't know why I went for that. Oh, mistakes were made. I only have to redo it all. Mistakes were made. I could have attacked him there. I don't know w when he's gonna hit me with the hammer and when he's not. It seems almost random to me. There we go. Do the jumpy thing. That's not the jumpy thing, that's the hammer thing. That's okay though. I think I figured out how to manipulate his hammer. Stand closer to the middle before. If you stand in the corner, he'll walk all the way to the corner. A twofer? Nice. I'll trade a hit there, I guess. That's fine. Frick. What? Oh, he ate my attack. Oh no, I think he still took damage. Somehow. Uh, the votes seem to have been stuck. I apologize. Uh, at this point, it's definitely rigged. Which is fine. <laughs> I guess. Alright, one more. Frick! This is not gonna go well. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I think that's actually the whole game. For the easy mode. Yeah, that's it. Alright. We beat a video game in Grab Bag. We did it. <laughs> World record, if I'm not mistaken. Don't correct me! <laughs> Alright. Hey, what's up, Tito? <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can... We'll stop that boat while we're at it. Didn't this happen to Mr. Plinkett's house and happen in the bag? I'm pretty sure it did, yeah. Just floated away. <laughs> Onto a mountain, I think? Mount Everest, probably, specifically? It's fine. Shoutouts to HAL Laboratories. Good stuff. The house is pooping. <laughs> what a bunch of hack frauds! <laughs> right? Bye! That would've been a good end of the stream, huh? Alright, we got an extra game. You hold up, select, and A on the title screen. What? Oh my god! See? So the extra game makes it more difficult. <clears throat> that adds the Gordos and everything I was talking about earlier. Slightly more enemies, I think, too. Different enemies as well. I think these chickens are new. This thing's new. This is new. It just makes the game a little bit harder in general. Which is awesome! Alright. Let's go ahead and go over this bad boy. 
Uh, platformer. <clears throat> Alright, what do we like? Excellent music. Really fun and casual gameplay with, uh, uh, bosses that are <clears throat> actually kind of fun to beat. One second. Uh, here we go. Alright, uh, actually kind of fun to beat, uh, floating mechanic was neat, uh, new game, new ham, wait, new ham plus, ooh, new ham, I want new ham, new game plus mode, um, uh, what I didn't like, a little short at five levels, oh, the boss rush was cool too, actually. Mm, ham. A little short at five levels. Uh, DTD is kind of annoying. Um, movement a little slow. Minor, minor things. Very easy five. Alright, now we get to the fun part of the stream where we do something random. Oh, oh, oh god! This one. It's all a sham. This isn't really behind me. Oh my god! <laughs> You've been bamboozled. Alright, let's go ahead and pick one at random. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if I can find that. One second here. <laughs> Excellent. All right, another Game Boy game. Uh, Boggle Plus for the original Game Boy. <laughs> One second here. There we go, voting has started. I actually don't even remember how to play Boggle. Oh boy, this looks exciting. You wouldn't go on the internet and lie, would you? No, no! You're not my real dad. Select a game. Boggle, big Boggle! Anagram or categories. Or use everything. Ooh, uh, I don't even know how to play Boggles, so let's... sure. Enter your name. Sure. Blah. Do you want to add computer opponents? You can add up to four. Yes. Oh, it's just like Clue. Hello, Irving. Jim Boy. Sarah, and... Oh my god, does Pearl have a pie? Holy crap, we can't lose the Pearl. She's got a pie. <laughs> uh, tournaments? I can lose quicker if we do a tournament. Played a uh, 100 points, sure. Alright, Boggle. So you're trying to come up with words? I think? Uh... Do they have to be next to letters you pick? Is that how Boggle works? Okay. I don't remember this. Okay. Okay. How the hell do you play Boggle? <laughs> Frick! Um, uh, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Pr no. Okay. Uh, li liney? Shit. <laughs> this is so hard. Uh, um, yeah, we can do rain. I, how do I submit a word? Okay. Uh, air. Um, uh, 
you can go diagonal. Lion. Um. Uh, let me see. This is hard. <laughs> P I N yeah pin. Jog. Ran. Yeah, rainy. Okay, it does keep track of your words. War. Lip. Uh, rip. R.I.P. Warn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, let me see. Yeah, shoutouts to literally no music. Holy crap. Fur makes sense at least. Uh... Nail. I know, Jesus! Calm down! Oh god, I know, please! <laughs> oh, please! Not like this. Loin, yeah. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Wayne is not a word. Oh, you can choose to let it accept it anyway. Weird. Reject. The law has six points. Oh god, why did I choose a hundred? A hundred's a lot of points. I didn't realize that a hundred is a lot of points. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, D R O P, D R O P S. This Q U is basically worthless. <laughs> um, sad. Just like I am while I'm playing this game. Tape. Tapes. Uh. No, 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 no. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um... Pop. Cop. The law. This is definitely Boggle. It's true. It's not great. But it is definitely Boggle. So here, here's what this reminds me of. You know those, like, they weren't even Tiger Electronic, but they were Tiger Electronic Light, which is weird. And they only had, like, Blackjack or Poker or, like, you would get a system at, like, Target or Walmart or whatever for $10. And it would just play that game. And your grandpa always had one. That is this, but for your Game Boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, the timer is still going while you're paused. You have to actually hit the pause button when you pause. Jesus! <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah, I think I'm ready to gong this as well. There's very little to this. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. A puzzle game? I guess it's a puzzle game. Uh, it's Boggle. Why this was made uh, for the Game Boy. However, boggles the mind. Uh, tournament mode, I guess. Uh, no music at all. Panic 10 seconds is unnerving. Uh, really boring. 
So here's the thing, it's Boggle. So it's already better than Pierre Lechef is out to lunch and the Powerpuff Girls Bad Mojo Jojo, which means I have to give it a two because it's just better than those games. <laughs> and it's literally just Boggle. <laughs> I feel bad about that. But there we are. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're done with Boggle. That was Boggle. Boggle Plus, my bad. If you like Boggle, yeah, it's Boggle. Can't, can't be that bad, I guess. Woo. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Alright. Next one. Let's go ahead and swap this out. Uh, where was, here we go. Ba -ba -da. Lego racers for Game Boy Color. I like Lego Racers on PC and I want to say N64. I've never played the Game Boy Color version, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, that Game Boy version of that tune. It's like similar. Yeah, I want to say this was also on PlayStation and couple other versions. This is definitely off-key. <laughs> Alright, let's make an eraser. The music's similar. Oh man, I think I want that. Oh, I forgot to start the vote. My dang! Lego racers. Alright, vote is ready to go. And there's apparently five poops already. I have to reset the vote because I think I didn't stop the last one. <laughs> Frick! Uh, that's easy enough to fix. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's go with Top Hat. Perfect, perfect. Yes, go on, go on. Excellent. Alright, we have a racer. Oh god, it has this weird naming thing again. Alright, fine. Wonder why they chose this. Wait, how do I go back? Hello? Oh, you have to. Uh, please. Why did they put player there? Someone had a crush on <laughs> the Fallen Brothers? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Dude, Fallen was good stuff, though. This is basically a port of the music from other versions. Did you do it wrong? It looks like it's voted. Alright, we need to build our car, which is extremely basic by the looks of it. Yeah, this is extremely basic. Oh wait, hold on, you can actually build though. Ish? Build-ish, kind of? A little bit? Kinda. Ooh, this only has three shapes though. That's hardly. Oh, you can't even turn it. Ugh, 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 ugh. Did it actually save our character? No, I didn't save it. Frick, it's fine. It's not important. Alright, let's do a race.
I don't think it changes any of that stuff. Not in this version, anyway. It does in the actual game, I'm pretty sure. Wait, how do I actually start a level? Do I have to hit... A didn't work before, now it works. Oh my god, this menu. Just start the race. It starts with no on that racer. Okay. R on the high seas or on land, you are no match for the great captain... Redbeard! So give it up, matey. Ha ha. <laughs> God, this menu's bad. Alright, image quality. Let's do it. It can't be that bad. Oh god, that looks terrible. Is that just a map of the course? Yes, okay. Oh, this looks bad. Alright, let's do this, I guess. So it's a Game Boy racing game. You pick up blocks, which you can barely see, to get weapons, just like other racing games that were out at the time. This draw distance is kind of rough. Actually, it's kind of a lot rough. Music's not very good. You can't really see the track ahead of you. Oh god. Gotta go fast! I think somebody shot something behind me? I don't even know. I can't tell what's happening. <laughs> yeah, they definitely shot something behind me. Alright. This is really bad. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that was one lap. How many laps are there? Three? Uh, the controls are very basic. Left, right. Think, um, really early, like... Oh, what am I thinking of? Uh... Spy Hunter? Kinda? Sort of Outrun-ish. They're fine, but... You just basically hold down the A button and hit left or right slightly. There's not really any, like, thought to it beyond that. It's impossible to tell where the other racers are. There's apparently one right behind me. Yeah, the music's really not a great port of it. That's true. Did I get hit? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright. Final lap. <laughs> Thank dog. Well, we did a circuit, though, so there's technically a million of these tracks or whatever. I don't even know what's happening, man. This is... this is definitely not the LEGO Racers I remember. This is like a weird, cheap imitation of LEGO Racers. Again, like you would see in like a... a pop station, like... Tiger Electronic style game. Not a Game Boy game, right? Like, this just feels cheap for a Game Boy game. Really cheap. I don't even know how I'm getting hit. The course feels too long for a handheld version of this, too. Especially with these graphics. These are way outdated by the time this came out on Game Boy Color.
Oof. Oof. That hurt. Oh man. Are there other racers? You can I don't I didn't see any other than the ones I passed immediately in the first lap. Alright, it's basically the exact same thing over and over again. There's not any thought at all to this. Just You know, do this. I agree with the poo-poo. I wanted to see at least what this track looked like, but uh Yup. <laughs> it's just the same crap. It's also the same song, yeah. Ugh. Thankfully it keeps playing <laughs> when you pause. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Uh, what do we think about LEGO Racers for Game Boy Color? Ooh, 10 gongs. That is a lot of gongs. I also totally agree. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, uh, what I like. Uh, you can technically create a racer and car but ultimately they are as pointless as playing this game what I didn't like uh, awful versions of the actual music which is good. Um, the same song on multiple courses. Courses have really bad draw distance and feel often like you are racing alone. Impossible to tell how far you have gone in the track boring. I think this one's a one. I think this game is actually worse than Boggle Plus. That means it has to be a one, right? It's just actually worse than Boggle Plus for the Game Boy. <laughs> I feel bad about that, but this game's bad, so I guess we're on a level playing field now. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and switch over to a different one. It had a top hat, that's true. That's better than nothing, probably. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Micro Machines Game Boy. Yeah, I bet that is a way better game than this. They were trying to do a weird 3D thing and they just didn't know how to do it. I think that was the problem. All right, another Game Boy Color game. Uh, Power Rangers Time Force. For the Game Boy Color. This is either going to be good or absolutely terrible, as quite a few Power Rangers games are. I'm hoping for either a fighting game or a beat-em-up. If it's a beat-em-up and it's like some of the Ninja Turtle ones, it might actually be okay. Is that root beer? Uh, that is blackberry cider, my friend. Here, I just poured the last of it. Atlas blackberry cider. Can it be good end to absolutely terrible? One can hope. Alright, let's see. 
Difficulty normal, that sounds fine to me. The villains have escaped and travel back into time. Time Force, you must go back in time and stop them! It's up to you to bring them to justice and the law. Law! Oh my god. Evil criminals have invaded Silver Hills. Arrest them before they destroy it. Okay, that... Hmm... That maybe isn't good. Crab Mantis. They have stats. They have a seven minute time limit. That makes me think this is like a shitty Spider-Man game. <laughs> but with Power Rangers. <laughs> Alright. Maybe... Do we at least get to pick our Power Ranger? Oh yeah. Blue Ranger, Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, or Green Ranger. What do we want? They technically have different skills, whatever these mean. Yellow Ranger looks pretty good. High power and vitality, slow speed though. Green Ranger. Green Ranger is higher vitality and skill and less power and speed. Blue has less vitality and skill and high power and speed. Which is probably gonna kill me. But he does go fast. <laughs> Alright, gotta go fast. It has been called, I guess. Blue Ranger it is. That's technically a Blue Ranger. Oh, frick these hitboxes. So you pick up time... Which resets the counter a little bit? Okay. I can see that getting annoying. So it is kind of like a beat-em-up-ish. This guy does move pretty fast, actually. Oh man, you have multiple attacks if you spam the attack key. Sick. Talk about the stats, like they have any idea what they do. You're not my real dad. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know I don't know that. Oh shit, you have- Oh man. Upper kit. Okay, where am I actually going? To the right, probably. Yeah, buddy! Speed tech. Oh, my health is really low after those. Whoops. What? Oh, I see. You have wall jumps! Holy shit, this game's awesome! Alright. <laughs> it's like Batman. Okay, this game's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty similar to NES Batman. Ah, I did not think that would kill me that quickly. Alright, blue's gone. So it is like Ninja Turtles, where if you lose a ranger, you're gone for good. So what's up next? Yellow, pink, green, or red? We we lost the speed tech. <laughs> Frick. Green? Alright, we're in on green ranger. I think he's wearing a hat backwards or something. Nice. Frick. Attacking you from directions you can't see is a little bit cheap, but that's okay. Whoa, is that the boss? Oh god, he has a really awkward hitbox. Oh my god, okay. He has a really bad hitbox. Red Ranger, let's go! It's all on you, dude! Why is the hitbox so bad? I picked up a weapon, I don't know how to use it. You have to take damage to even try and pick it up. It's... Whoa, okay. That is not the button I thought it was. Here we go. Oh, you have weapons and guns and stuff, okay. Interesting. Start is how you do it. So anyway, we figured out... A strat. 
<laughs> All right. All right, this game's actually pretty. Oh, frick! Pretty cool. Now that I got the hang, hang of how to play it a little bit more. Uh, the lightning is just like special attacks. Which, there's like button combinations you need to do, like a fighting- Oh yeah, look at this. We crawl it now. Sort of. More crouching, really. Why would I want to switch- Okay. In case I'm low on health or something? Interesting. Uh, that's not fair. I didn't know that heart was there. That's okay. Ah! Shit! This is awesome! Look at that! Holy crap, dude! <laughs> That's amazing! Alright. This game is great! <laughs> Alright. The two criminals have split up. There's no time to lose. Capture one of them. Oh man. The dinosaur or the underwater shark? <laughs> dinosaur. Three eyes, I guess. Alright, we're stuck to the pink and the yellow ranger. Oh no, we got all our rangers back! Hey! This game's awesome! Alright. So you essentially have like five lives every level. That's really cool, man. Alright. I'm in. This is a really good beat em up. Especially for a handheld. Oh, frick! I don't know how to. Oh, you are the. Yeah, you come back. There's plenty of- Frick! <laughs> plenty more fists where that came from. Yeah! Okay. I'm gonna die because I'm already almost dead to that stupid dragonfly. I should probably switch to the weapon that actually does damage, maybe. Platforming's a little bit awkward with this character because he's just so fast. The swaps could be really useful, yeah, because you could, like, save some health and such. Hey, what's up, Bash? Thanks for the resub, dude. Frick. Alright. Hitboxes are rough, though. That's the only problem I have right now, is the hitboxes are a little rough. What is the? Oh, that's a bomb. Okay. Sure. You know what? Screw it. I don't want to deal with this stupid thing anymore. <laughs> nope. Frick. Swap to a ranger with more energy before the boss. Yeah, exactly. I think that was the idea. 43 whole years? Dude, thanks for 43 years of memes. But oh, frick. Screw it. Screw it. No! Frick! Why is this platform the end boss of the stage? This gun takes a second to shoot, which is also a little annoying. Okay, we actually made the jump. So far these flying enemies are the worst thing in the game. Not close. Next to these platforms being incredibly awkward. I think what's happening is it's... Oh wait, I forgot you can wall jump. Holy shit, why would we platform? That's bullshit, though. They drop a snake on you. Hello? 
twice, by the way. No steppy on snake. Actually, can I skip that if I do this? Oh, maybe. Maybe. It feels like there's some speed strats here. If you set this up properly. Get Rex Snake. Alright. Platforming's a little wonky though, that's for sure. Being able to skip stuff just by being good at platforming is really cool though. Is that a power-up or an enemy? Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. I agree. What am I... Ow. I guess you just have to take damage there? Sure. I like this little crawl animation. It's kind of funny. That's a bomb. I remember that much. You can also just kind of play the whole game, like, crouch walking, which is weird. Am I running out of time or something? Frick! Okay, I must be. Uh, lava hot. Oh no, I wasn't running out of time, we're just getting near the boss. Sure. So I was panicking for no reason. Fair enough. This jump is really awkward. Get wrecked, T-Rex! Uh, frick! <laughs> what was I supposed to do, man? <laughs> Damn it! I ran out of time! Oh, what? <laughs> no! Alright, well... Yeah, it took too long. My fun! Oh god, that sweet Kate emote. Gotta get that Kate emote. My fun! This game is hard. This is good! I like this game! I think it's actually good. Like, legitimately a decent game. I think we're done, though. Yeah, I agree. Let's go ahead and... Update our information. Uh, pretty fun beat em up. Uh, five characters with three attack styles each. Fast movement. Fun to explore with. Ooh. Good music. Uh, that explosion, though! Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, what did I do? Hello? Oh, let me see. Okay. I did something with my keyboard, but I think it's fine now. Um, what don't I like about this? Uh, platforming's a little wonky. Oh shit, yeah, there's skips, too. You can... Wall jump to go fast. That's awesome. Uh, platforming is a bit wonky. Uh, enemies will literally spawn on top of you to kill you at times. Uh, hitboxes are a bit funky. Even with hitboxes, weird platforming and bad enemy spawns, I think this is a 4 because it's so damn fun. Even with those faults, I think it's a 4. That is a big accomplishment. Because those are some major damn faults.
I think it won me over. It's just actually fun. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and re-roll again. Um, let's see. Oh, I need to move a file real quick. It picked a file I already have. <laughs> that was the problem. A nice surprise. Yeah, it's better than I expected. That's pretty sweet. I will take that, man. Oh my lord. Alright, uh, well. This will be interesting. <laughs> I actually know what this is, but I've never played it. Uh, it's another Game Boy Color game. Game being in huge quotations, though. It's welcome to my underground lair. Austin Powers. Frick. This will be a thing. <laughs> it's a Rockstar game before they made Grand Theft Auto. Before they made Grand Theft Auto, they made Austin Powers games slash operating systems for the Game Boy. It's Dr. Evil DOS, which is a operating system to do dumb things on your Game Boy. Yeah. Yeah. The IDE master will also be my slave as there can be only one master in this organization. Enter password Dr. Evil. Diskette Drive A. <laughs> oh my god. There's already been- SILENCE! I know that you psychotic twist. Oh my lord. Is this even a memory value that makes sense? I don't know. We're using the Dr. Evil operating system on our, on our Nintendo Game Boy. <laughs> god damn it. I'm going to destroy the world with a giant laser, unless I'm paid a ransom of one million dollars. Welcome to Dr. Evil. Welcome to my underground lair. The following unnecessary installation procedure will set up the Game Boy. Enter your personal details and aim to become an evil henchman for Dr. Evil's organization. Alright, uh... We have to enter in our name. Oh my god, this is awkward. Uh, the. <laughs> oh my god. I am clearly a clone, yeah. Can I enter in a space, or is that not an option? Uh, shit. There we go. Henchman number 20. Oh my god, there's lowercase. We don't want lowercase letters. Uh, holding up does work. Okay. <sighs> the law. Henchman 21. There we go. We're a clone. I see that you want to be my clone. The law! I just hope you don't turn out like Scott. I shall call you a hench clone. Oh my god. What is my pet? Is it Mr. Bigglesworth, Mini-Me, or a mutated sea bass? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> a sea bass bass alright okay I will permit you to look after my mutated sea bass until I need it to destroy Austin Powers installing operating system lair address is it Vegas volcano or the moon the moon 
fucking Ace of Seafood. Oh my god, that game. That game, that game is a game. <laughs> Why can't it be a shark with a freaking laser beam on its head? <laughs> god. Alright, hench person, the law. You could stay at my volcano lair, but watch out for those volcano sulfurous emissions. Alright. Interest, world domination, diabolical schemes, or thwarting Austin powers. <laughs> International. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, uh, diabolical schemes, obviously. If you think of any diabolical schemes, then you must run them past me first. I'm the one who makes all the decisions around here. I think we're done setting up our operating system now. Welcome to my underground lair. It really is breathtaking. <laughs> Cause it's in a volcano, get it? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an operating system. Made by Rockstar, about Austin Powers, for your Game Boy Entertainment System. <laughs> there are games, evil things, and programs. You can also raise and lower this, apparently. All right. <laughs> this is... Let's check out evil things, I guess. Sounds, cursors, and color schemes. So cursors. Ooh, that hot spot though. Uh, how do I actually... Ah, oh, here we go. This is really dumb. Perfect. Is this a game? Sure, <laughs> I guess. Maybe? These are just settings, okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Billion dollar blue, oh my god. Number two brown! Holy crap! <laughs> Pitiful pink. Sure. Brown and yellow. I don't know why they wanted brown and yellow, but sure. Dark magma red. Pitiful pink. Alright. Uh, top right, I think, goes back. Yeah. Alright, those were evil things. What about programs? What are these? A launch pad. Okay. I think you can use this as a PDA for your Game Boy. That was the point of this thing. You could also use it with the Game Boy printer. And send to receive messages to other people that also bought Austin Powers Welcome to My Underground Lair. You know. Like normal people. It's a PDA with Austin Power. Oh my lord. That's very graphic, isn't it? Hmm. 
<laughs> but technically accurate. Alright, we made a message. It says 30 years in the cube, scum. Let's save that message. As question mark. And now we can send that message to someone else through the link cable, maybe? Oh, email? Can you actually email with this thing? Hold on. Yeah, I think it sends it through the link cable. Or through in the IR sensor in front of the Game Boy Color. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. The internet. Let's go on the internet on our Game Boy Color Austin Powers operating system. <laughs> oh my god, that dial-up noise. Go on. The Yuna browser. <laughs> Yuna browser. <laughs> Alright. Connect our Game Boys! <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> oh my god. Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Oh my god, that's the second movie in the Austin Powers hit franchise. <laughs> the man, the mojo, the mission. The year is 1999. Oh, I think the votes need to be reset. One moment. Let's get a fresh vote on this game. <laughs> Alright. I think we're done with the Unibrowser. What is this, a calculator? There's also a calculator. A FRICULATOR?! FRICK! <laughs> the FRICULATOR! Why is it called that? FRICK, dude! You can't swear. You can print it out on your- HOLY CRAP, YOU CAN DO YOUR TAXES! <laughs> on Austin Powers! Welcome to my underground lair. You can do your homework on this, print it off on the Game Boy printer, and bring it into school. Are you kidding me? That's so good! That's so good! <laughs> Why is this a thing? Alright, let's check out the games. We have... Rock, Paper, Scissors, Mojo Maze, and Domination. You know, Austin Powers games. Sure. Throw me a frickin' stone here! That meme! There's statistics too, so you can gather data- You can do- <laughs> If you get two people that bought this masterpiece of, of Rockstar Gaming and hook them up with a link cable, you could play Rock, Paper, Scissors. That's so good, dude! Every single player, or every single character has their own song. Fat bastard it is! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing, dude! You were too early, you lose. Oh. Uh oh. There's a timing to it, too. How do I know when to go? You were too slow! Shit! This is hard. It's the ultimate meme game. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's try again. I don't actually know how this works. There's like a timing to it, I guess? Oh my god! 
You have to go when it's on green. That's it. Got it. Scissors defeats paper. You win. Oh, you pick your opponent to go against. Oh! Surely, scissors! Frick! I got fricked. The face! It's so good! Oh, I went too early. Oh, I got fricked. Dang it. Alright, we've played rock, paper, scissors. Oh, they just kept picking paper? Nice. I didn't even pay attention. Alright, the mojo mate. That looks like a game. Alright. Is this Pac-Man? Why does Dr. Evil have such a weird head? Hello? This was in fact on Game Boy Color. This is... this is a thing that I am definitely playing right now. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> okay. The power I picked up was Mojo. Yeah, I don't know what Mojo did. Oh god, I'm fast now. Speed strats. Pick those up, and route out the movement. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Mojo actually does, does it? Oh, it's, it's literally Pac-Man, it makes them run away from you, okay. Oof. And then once you clear an area, you can unlock the next area and keep Pac-Manning. Because that way they didn't have to load another level. Oh, that goes back. Interesting. I mean, not really, but I'm gonna say it was interesting. The music's okay. Oh, God! Frick, turning around's impossible. Yeah, this is just a weird Pac-Man clone with Austin Powers for some reason. Come here, I have mojo. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. It's no Lego Racers. I mean, few things are Lego Racers, to be fair. Frick! Yeah! Speed tech. How did I go down and then down again? I have no idea. <laughs> Getting this hard is kind of dangerous because you have to lock yourself in, but we did it anyway. Frick! Yeah, boy! Alright. I need to go this way, though. Alright, we unlocked the next area. Danger, hot magma. Okay. The strat is definitely to pick up this lightning power up as quickly as possible. Because <laughs> going slow sucks. <laughs> You wouldn't have to worry about that if you were in Vegas! Wow! 
bitter much? <laughs> That's true, though. You're not technically wrong. <laughs> oh god. Thankfully the fire's dumb. Oh god, the fire's not dumb. No one ever takes Vegas. <laughs> that oh jeez. Uh 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 frick. Rockstar, in fact, made this. That is ac that is an accurate statement. <laughs> this was the pre-Grand Theft Auto days of Rockstar Entertainment. Alright, we have the key. <laughs> Isn't it great? They made a Maze Pac-Man clone, Austin Powers. Like, throwaway garbage game. These aliens, though, what? Uh, I want to see what else is on here, not just Pac-Man. Well, I want to finish this off, because we're on the last stage for the Pac-Man, so we might as well try and do this. We're already here. I do want to see what else is on here, though. Hey, Lamouse. Alright, we're almost done with this really hard Pac-Man game. Mojo Maze is clearly <laughs> the key to defeating Austin Powers, right? It has to be. There's no other way that it could be anything but that. Alright, we've defeated Austin Powers, world record. Oh god, there's more. Mini-me. Oh, that takes you back. Alright, and then Domination, which is Othello? Austin Powers Othello? I think. Which you can also play Link Cable, I guess. Yeah, this is literally just Othello. I'm hip! Dude, nice! Me too, man. But why, though? <laughs> that is a strong question. I don't have an answer for you. I have no idea how to play it, though. I'm bad at this game. I have to place here or else they take the bottom. Seventh guest fucking cheats. Yeah, the seventh guest one is really bad for, with that. I agree. I'm not a fan of that seventh guest version of this at all. They just keep going in a row, man. I'm hip. So anyway, when are we going to submit our taxes on this? That's the real question that we need to ask ourselves. Because if we're not submitting our taxes on an Austin Powers operating system for the Nintendo Game Boy, <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? Yeah, they really want diagonal control, it's a little odd. Um. I'm hip. That means they can put one on the left, though, so that was a bad idea. Oh, they didn't, though, because they're dumb. 
sure. <clears throat> or maybe they couldn't. If I put one there, they just put one there. So what I need to do is... Do that. Now they take those, which sucks for me. Ish. Except I can do this. I'm hip. Please, no. <clears throat> this takes a bunch. This is almost a shutout. Kinda crazy. Uh, now we'll take those two. Oh, I forgot about that. Mistakes were made. I am also done. This is just Othello. It's not very interesting. It is very Othello. <laughs> Alright, so as far as I understand... Enlarge? Oh, you can close programs that were open. I guess. Sure. So you can minimize games and come back to them later. Interesting. Let's just check out the backgrounds real quick. There's apparently 89 of them. One of these has to be good. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, that one's actually pretty good. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Mr. Biggles, were it? Dude, it's Scott. Everybody loves Scott Evil. And... Whatever... Walk Like an Egyptian boob girl was. There we go. Now we have the perfect background. Which means I think we're done, as far as this is concerned. Pretty sure we've finished the entire game at this point. We have done everything this game has to offer, except file our taxes. It also didn't change my background. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we're done voting for this game now. So, Austin Powers, Welcome to My Underground Lair, for the Game Boy Color. Uh... What? Um... What do I even call this? What genre is this? Operating system? No, uh... What the fuck is the genre? Uh, what I liked, uh, it's extremely unique, an operating system slash <laughs> PDA for your Game Boy Color with Austin Powers themes. Uh, you can file your taxes. <laughs> You can send emails to your friends with a link cable. <laughs> you can print off, uh, what else could you do that was really weird and dumb? You finally got your W-2? Nice. I've... Hoggy Tonk piano version of the chicken dance? That's ridiculous. You're pretty sure Powerpuff Girls was better? But this was more interesting than Powerpuff Girls. That's what's weird about it. This is a, a worse game, but more interesting, which immediately makes it better than Powerpuff Girls in my mind. And that's really awful. I hate that. Uh, let me see.
Uh, you can rock, paper, scissors with a link cable. Interesting sprites. Uh, what I didn't like, it's barely a game. Very weird. Uh, has no real purpose? Rockstar Games, yo! Is the music good? I do have my mic on an unlevel table, so it'll probably move around a lot while I'm typing. Or it might have rotated. Uh, was the music good? It was okay. I wouldn't say it was good. I actually think this is a 2. This is weird. So here's the thing. I want to give it a better rating because I think it's interesting to look at. I don't think it's something you should actually play. Like, intentionally. <laughs> I think that means I should give it a 3, which is really dumb. My, my scale was not... My scale is a little too specific at 1 to 5. So, I'm going to err on the side of 3. Feel it scam people? It definitely scam people. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, One second. Let's look at the back of the box. Rated skip into 3. Uh... Uh, that's just not how my system works. I want to. Austin Powers, welcome to my underground lair box. Let's take a look at the box. There's barely any box art. All right. Uh, is this even a big picture? Is there a bigger picture? There is a better picture. Let's take a look. One moment. Uh, desktop. Alright, so here's the box art for this wonderful masterpiece. This is the second of Rockstar's Austin Powers operating system games for the Game Boy Color, by the way. Uh, there is a second one called Austin Powers O Behave, I think? Oh god, I clicked on it. Let me check. Is that the same thing? So we might actually get another... Austin Powers Game Boy game at some point here. Uh, Austin Powers O Behave, I believe, incorporated the Game Boy Camera, I want to say. And yeah, it's very similar. It's another operating system. So, welcome to my underground lair. My game is the. Wait. What is this? Where did this bike came? What? There was no bike game. Collect all four? There were four of these? Jesus. Uh, if you want to be the heir to my evil organization, you'll have to work hard and prove yourself now. If you excuse me, I have a world to destroy. Ta-ta. Loads of mini games. Three. There were three. Uh, evil activities. There's a calculator, I guess. Use the li link R cable and play against a friend. Yeah, you can play... Othello and Rock, Paper, Scissors. Beam your opponent a message by infrared link. You can technically email your friend. That's true. One game in a highly collectible series of four. <laughs> Rockstar. Okay. I think I only have two of these. I might need to look for the other two. Oh boy. <laughs> Interesting. Is that the back of a different one? It might be. That's the the underground layer though. That's the correct game. Maybe it's the back of like a, a PAL version of the game or something. All right, so welcome to my secret underground lair. <clears throat> that was a game that we played. 
technically. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that was super weird. But actually kind of enjoyable. <clears throat> um, Alright. Next up. Is a puzzle game, I believe, called Toki Tori. Oh god, I keep clicking on. Um, there we go. Toki Tori. Uh, I believe there was a PC Toki Tori that came out not too long ago. Uh, start Toki Tori. It's like a puzzle platformer, if it's the same, anyway. Looks good to me. Yeah, hopefully this is a pretty okay version of Toki Tori. We'll find out. Beautiful summer day on the chicken farm. Everything looks peaceful and quiet. Or at least, it seems to be. Oh god, I'm gonna be doing the Dr. Evil thing for a while now. That's the worst. <clears throat> Music's good. Yeah. All the eggs are being kidnapped! But wait! This intro is really long and I can't skip it. There's one egg left. You have this on 3DS? Like this version or another Toki Tori? I didn't know that this got released on 3DS. Our hero, Toki Tori, can just see his brothers and sisters fly away. Toki Tori follows them as fast as- why are they still in the eggs? Alright, fine. But Toki Tori isn't fast enough. He climbs the highest hill to see where the eggs could have gone. If it's a chicken farm, isn't aren't the eggs being kidnapped a regular event? Not for Toki Tori! I get I guess. I don't I don't know, man. <laughs> for at least on everything. I think that's true. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Zach? Good to see you, dude. The eggs popped out of the castle. They're everywhere now! He decided to save the eggs and solve the mystery of... the eggs. Alright, so... I remember seeing a little bit about Tokitori... a couple years ago, but I don't actually remember much. Free tip! This is the first level in Tokitori. The goal is to save all the eggs. There are no dangers in the level. In the top left corner, you will notice the eyes item. Press the action button to activate it. Use the control pad to look around. So you can figure out the layout before you try to do it. Oh man, Zach, you just missed Austin Powers' Welcome to My Underground Lair, and that game is an experience, my friend. This music's really good. I agree. So Toki Tori can't jump very well. You saw the Twitch preview. Nice. Yeah, this looks pretty solid, to be honest. This is more just to get used to the movement and controls and all that jazz. For the first level, it's very basic. Collect the things. Now we actually maybe do a puzzle? The movement's really slow, I agree. It's slower if you're jumping. Bridge Builder. This is the first learn level. Every time a new item is introduced, you'll be able to practice it in a learn level. Use the action button to build a bridge. It will only work when Toki Tori is standing on the edge of a platform and there's enough space. Alright, so now we actually puzzle. Puzzle the puzzle. They give you five minutes to beat this level. <laughs> it's a little excessive, but I appreciate it, <laughs> I guess. There we go. This level contains more than one item. Switching items by hitting the select button will help you out. It's a very slow lead into the game, but that's okay. We have one bridge that we can use. 
which we pretty much have to use here. Congrats on finishing the level in under five minutes. It's like I'm a speedrunner or something. Hot damn, you're right. I've never been more proud. <laughs> Look at that carrot. It's horrifying. Hey, what's up, Bear Champ? Law! Thank you for the six months in a row, my friend, at the 999 level. Toki Tori. This is the first level that contains a monster. Be careful! Toki Tori can't defend himself! Oh my god. Alright, reminder, we can't defend ourselves. Uh, mistakes were made. So that's the last step. Good to know. I thought I could climb out for some reason. Uh, okay. This is a bad idea. Was I not supposed to use the bridge here? Maybe I should actually look. Uh, so I can climb up this way to get that. How do I get that one then? Hmm. Oh, I had to build a bridge up top, so I think I have to restart again. Okay, I'm understanding the puzzle a little bit now. Use the bridge from the log. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Fair enough. The lock. Alright, where was the last one again? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. This game really, really holds your hand on the way in. That's for sure. We do have a vote for Gong, though. It has a really slow curve, I agree. I'll uh, use this action to activate the warp hole! Uh, to see where you can go, keep pressing the control pad in the direction you'd like to telewarp to. Tokitori will nod his head when it's impossible to go there. Fair enough. It has a set distance, I understand. Yeah, the game's very, very slow, I agree. Uh, yeah, if the movement speed was a little bit faster, I think it would be better, for sure. It's just a little too slow to get to the point. You can run! Hold on! Wait! Hold on. Oh, we in there, dude? I might have fucked it. Wait, maybe no. Do I have a teleporter? I do. All right, we in there? There's a run button. I was wondering how I moved faster that one time. <laughs> it's not that much faster, but it is faster. Break space time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can switch the function of A and B in the options. Thank you, friend. Uh, I have bridge and teleport. Game is on everything, yeah. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have to teleport up here. 
and then build a bridge. Although I could have teleported across instead, which would have been better. This still works, though. Free tip! Thanks, dude. Wow. I didn't have to pay for it or anything. <laughs> Game auto saves after every level. Uh, if I make a bridge, it won't go far enough, so... Does this have to be the last one? It does, so I screwed it again. There's 30 puzzles before a real one. I... That's a little annoying. Here, let's look around a bit. So... I have to teleport! Do I have two teleports? No. How do I get that one? Expensive tips later. Uh, I don't have to teleport to get those. So I have to teleport up. Okay, so I drop down. Uh, bridge over. Okay, I understand now, I understand. We have puzzled the puzzle. Lost Vikings? Yeah, Lost Vikings is pretty okay. Boat might have broken. Oh god! Uh, uh, frick! <laughs> My feelings! Why did it follow me? Uh, the vote might have broken. Did it? Maybe. I think we're probably okay with this though. I'll, I'll reset it and do a vote just in case people want to. Thank you, Donger Spot. Yeah, I think I'm pretty okay with Tokitori. The learning curve's a little slow, but it's an all right puzzle game. Uh, here we go. I think it's not a bad game at all. You like the game too much to give it the gong? That's totally fine. You don't have to. Uh, what I liked, good music, uh, pretty clever puzzle solutions at times, um, short fun levels, which are great for a handheld, um, for car rides and such. Uh, what I didn't like, slower movement. Really slow learning curve. <clears throat> um, very little, to be honest. I think this is a four. I think this is actually a good game. I would put it above Austin Powers Welcome to My Underground Lair. As well as... <laughs> Rayman. It's definitely better than Rayman for Game Boy Color. So, pretty easy for I think. Even if it is a little slow. Uh, Alright, let's do maybe one more-ish. Depending on the game. Um, sure.
Ham Taro, Ham Hams Unite for the Game Boy Color. There we go. <laughs> Heck okay. Yeah, for some odd reason, this Hantaro fella looks familiar. I can't quite place it. <laughs> it's weird. Arg! I'm so busy. You, yes you. You don't look busy at all. Can you do me a favor? Uh, what's your name? You know what my name is. My name is The Law. Wait. What? Ah. Uh, what is it doing? There we go. The Law. Music note. It's rigged? Wow. Wow. Can't believe you would call that out on me. Wow. Rude as heck. <laughs> oh yes. The Law. Sorry, but I always forget names. Can you please go find all the ham hams and bring them back here? Why? Well, that's a secret, but it's for everyone to enjoy. You know, ham chat is all the rage right now. Try it if you meet a hamster. Hecke? <gasps> what? 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 You mean you don't know about ham chat? It's easily the latest craze right now. Do re mi fa so la. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. You didn't know? Well then I'll teach you what I know to get you started. Try to remember. It'll help you find the ham hams. Come on, I will explain everything in the next room. This game is cute. There's more room to move in here. Oh, guess what? I dug something up a little while ago and I want you to have it. You got a brand new notebook. It's perfect for writing down all the new ham chat words you learn. Okay, this is how it works. Ham haw! Alright, alright everybody. Three, two, one. Say it with me! There we go. You learned ham haw. Alright. It's the new way to say hello. Use it when you want to start a conversation with somebody. Remember it. Now moving on. Dun, 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 dun. Tech Q. Hamha! I fucked it! You almost got it. Just do exactly what I did. <laughs> you learned Tech Q. I believe I switched the FFZ to mode to just Hamha with a capital H. If you don't have uh, a subscription, you can still do it. Use this when you want to roll into something. It might also help you find hidden items and do a few other things. Remember it, okay? Also, hiff hiff. That's how you pick up items, like sunflower seeds. Ham ha! That's all I know how to do! You almost got it, just do exactly what I did. Okay. <laughs> You got 10 sunflower seeds. That's like the currency in this game. You use it to buy things and stuff. Game Taro's turning into a Pokemon. Something like that, yeah. Alright, we learned Hif Hif. That's it, do a Hif Hif to pick certain things up. Now over here... Amaha ha. Ama. Yeah, that looks right, Osea. Yeah. You can also dig dig to find stuff. You learn dig dig. Alright. We know four words. There might be times when there's nothing there. Dig dig is what we do when we want to dig. Also use it to get back to the clubhouse from any exit hole. Next er uh, this is taking too long, let me see. This one, that one, yeah, it looks good. All right, I wrote down some basic ham chat words for you. Try using them, all right? 
Now you know some basic ham chat. Is there a Game Boy Dig Dug port? Uh, there's a Game Boy Gremlins 2. That wasn't what you were asking. Uh, Dig Dug. There is, in fact, a Game Boy Dig Dug. Which we will eventually get to. Probably. I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Come on, let's go look at the clubhouse. Listen carefully. All the ham ham rooms are located behind this door. No one's here right now, though. You can't enter the rooms when they're gone. If you want to see which ham hams are here, check this map. It'll show you who's here. It's like Dig Dug, yeah. You can leave the clubhouse from this door. That's it! I'm counting on you to find all the ham hams. Get going! This is like a standard adventure game, oddly enough. Uh, but with Hamtaro characters. Hey, yeah, you! Nice to meet you, I'm a good Hamaritan. Hey! Did you know that you can collect delicious acorns here? Near the acorn shrine? There aren't uh, that many right now, because they're not in season, but... Uh, choo! Oh my, I wonder if I'm coming down with a cold. Alright. You can also run, which is fast. And you can say ham-haw a lot. What, you're looking for the ham-hams? Well, I saw a girl with a ribbon go into the forest. Ah, 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 choo! Must be allergic to something. Alright, we'll pick up a single sunflower seed. And then we will dig dig. To get a rock! It's a Dwayne Johnson! I think rocks are used for like a mini game or something? I don't remember. Oh! The law! Can you catch me, the law? Teehee! The law will never catch me, teehee! This is a store, I want to say. Yeah, that's why there's a thing there. You can also, I think, go pee. <laughs> you left a mark. And you can also tap Q the tree to knock stuff down. Like that spider. And scoochie scooch. Why, though? Because I can go pee! That was a word the boss told me. <laughs> every every hamster needs to know to go pee. Ham ha. Ham ha. Why did you wake me up? I was imagining what my sweetheart would be like. What kind of hamster do I like? I guess I'd like him to be a rather mega Q hamster. Hey, we learned mega Q, which is cute. If I'm not mistaken. No, big! It's a mega Q. We're learning words together, friends. You learned Mega Q. Hmm? Bijou? Uh, if you mean a girl hamster wearing a ribbon, uh, one ran right by me! Pekka, 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 pekka. That means you're gonna eat it. That was hard. Script T is scratch, if I'm not mistaken. Poop? Wow. It's totally fair. No, you can call it out. If you don't like the game, you don't like the game. That's totally normal. Uh, let's scooch up real quick. This is the only Hamtaro game on Game Boy and Game Boy Color. The other one, well, ones were on uh, Game Boy Advance. Achoo! All these bugs fell. Yeah, you totally get the idea from very little bit. It's a pretty standard adventure game. You find hamsters, learn words, and go from there. Oh, ham ha! Huh? This flower smells great, no? It's perfect for a coochie Q like me. That's cute, okay. 
pretty. A coochie do. You learned coochie cue. Peas on everything. That's technically true. <laughs> I don't know about the misconduct, though, but we'll find out. Oh, I found a mole. Are you okay? To go back to the clubhouse, go through that hole over there. The other day, a hamster with a beard spent a lot of time on it. Heck. There's a hamster here, too. Ow. Correct. The tree started shaking all of a sudden. Are you okay? Uh-oh. Oopsie! You can have both fun and cute. I think this game's fun, but it's definitely more of an adventure game than a platformer. If that makes sense. It's not a high action game. Attack, attack, attack you. Nice. Sparkly. It's a little bit tedious. Eh. Maybe. You can also pee on trees, that's true. If you make a girl cry, then you must apologize like crazy. This is a game about solving people's problems. Uh, did they? It was a snake! <laughs> okay. Weird. Huh, I sound sick. Well, I am sick. In love. Right. Okay. Hmm. Yeek, spiders! I think I made her cry. No. Oh. Damn, huh? You are so mean. I'm sorry. Oh, alright. Let's forget about it. I was just taken by surprise. Oh no, I must have been so surprised I dropped my shiny rock. This is so terrible. Where did it go? You got a shiny rock. Don't forget to pee on the tree. Can I, can I pee on it? <laughs> That's it! Thank you! I'm so happy. Alright. So, uh, you learned thank you. Huh? Boss is calling for us. Okay then, let's head back to the clubhouse. So we beat the first level of this game. I think that's probably okay to move on. This game's really cute. Hey. Not everyone's here yet. You're really large, or you sparkle. <laughs> You're really big, Bijou. I'm not so mega cute. Oh. That's what I meant. There we go. Alright. Uh, at some point in this game, I think you also find the Master Sword, but it's a spoon. I don't know why. Anyway, Hamtaro, Ham Pams Unite. Uh, good graphics. Good music. Really cute. Um... Uh, conversation problem solving. So the, the concept of the game is basically you have to go talk to different hamsters, learn their language, like whatever words they are, 
and then go back to other hamsters and use those words to solve puzzles. Um, I've got night, Tito. It's a good kids game, exactly. To get words sometimes. Oh, uh, a bit tedious to pick up objects and interact. I don't actually think it's that tedious, me personally, because I played a lot of adventure games in the past, and it just it feels like an adventure game to me. But I can understand that as a a gripe. I think it's an easy four. It's not a five. It's not for everyone. Not something everybody should play. Uh. But it's definitely better than average, in my opinion. It's above the bar of, like, crappy games. Where otherwise it would be sitting. Alright. Uh, I guess we can do one more, because that was kind of quick. Ooh, that one's going to be long. I'll pass on that one for right now. Uh, let's see... It really wants me to do a sports game, but I kind of don't want to do a sports game right now. Let's try... What was that thing called? Oh, uh, oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, cool, that one. That's a good random one that'll work. Three skips out of 13. Yeah, we're... Well, okay. <laughs> That's not bad so far, but we also haven't played... Um, any of the Maddens, any of the Mary-Kate and Ashley games, uh, any of the, Mortal Kombat games, of which there's only one good one, any of the NBA games, like, there's very little of those, like, real garbage ones that we haven't played that are just all sports stuff. Uh, what was I going to do? Right, 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 right. Uh, I already lost the game that it picked. Dang it. I was scrolling. I'm sorry. Uh, we also haven't played Animorphs yet, which if you haven't seen Animorphs, it's an experience. Alright, let's do this one. This was a good random pick. Quote, unquote, good. Hey, what's up, Jim? <laughs> Yeah, grab bag streams are great. We've been going for about two and a half hours now. Uh, where is... Here we go. Arthur's absolutely fun day. One of us is going to have fun. Maybe? It's in the title. Can't be too bad, right? You need to see Kizaron suffer? I appreciate that, OC. <laughs> Eyes emoji. Oh god, that picture looks bad. What is the screen? Uh, okay. Arthur's absolutely fun day. Oh god, is it one of these games? What am I? Uh, help wanted at the sugar bowl. Uh. What? There is some gameplay. <laughs> Holy crap. 
I... This is absolutely fun! Am I doing anything? I'm moving the bottom of the screen to to pick which place the egg goes. I think it's an egg? I don't know what these are, man. This is hardly a game. Can I... Oh, thank god, I got a free pass. You mean if we get... 16 passes, we can go to Wonder World? Great. I can't wait to finish 16 games just like that. Fun. I, I don't know what Jabba the Hutt's doing in that little, you know, dive shack, but sure. Uh... Oh, the fish don't actually hurt you. Then what's the point? This is really complex animation for Game Boy. That's accurate. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> this is weird. All right, we got a television, maybe a teapot. This is certainly fun. A, a plate. I want to point out that this came out on the same system that had Legend of Zelda, uh, Oracle of Sages. There's a button that just makes air bubbles that doesn't actually do anything. I think that's weird. So... Am I just, like, looking for random things to collect, I guess? <laughs> Throwing an Odin in here? Thanks, pal. <laughs> what great treasure. It's all trash. Endless trash. That's supposed to be like pretty close pixel wise to what you want to pick up, and it's hard to tell what is something you can pick up and what isn't. Like, I apparently can't pick up that blue thing, whatever that is. I don't know. Did we beat it? Can we go home? Are we done? No. I think I need that blue thing, which it wouldn't let me pick up earlier. Oh, this is kind of agonizing. I also don't know how to pick up this yellow, this purple thing right here. You have to be sideways. Sure. It's a Game Boy. That makes very little sense. Punch the roof of his car to Odin. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that, maybe? Alright, we found everything. How do we get out of this hellhole? Thank you. Oof. Hockey, here we go. Air hockey. What are those games in the background? Those look way better than what I'm playing right now. Eh, eh. Brick. Give her... Okay, yeah, I got there! Get wrecked, nerd! It's my action face. Okay. Yeah, buddy! You almost got got from the friggin'. Holy crap, he's bad. <laughs> Please! How are you this bad? I didn't get a free pass for it yet. I, I need to hit a certain score, I guess. 
A nice reaction time. Yup. <laughs> sure is a game. <laughs> I got pew pewed. I got got. By sheer boredom, I got got. Please. Oh my god, I don't care if someone win. The sound of you flexing are pew 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 Yeah, basically. Pong and Keen 4 and 6. Ooh, I wish it was that interesting. At least then we'd have Commander Keen in some way. Oh, frick! I'm losing because I'm bored. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm actually so bored. I'm just losing. God damn it. Alright, match point. Frick! How long is this? I don't want to play this anymore. Alright. I have nothing but Odin votes. This is... This is the worst. Are you not entertained? I don't know. Dude, nice reaction, nerd. We win! Alright, we don't have to do that anymore. This is literally a list of things I don't have to do anymore. That's all this game is. Oh my god, I'm sorting books. This is literally a work simulator now. Keen? Yeah. What's up, Ozzy? Hi, Octane Story. I sort of remember what I said about a kid's game, right? Yeah, this is, uh, this is a bad kid's game. So far. Oh, was it... Did they throw it out? Heck you! I was gonna eat that! How do I know when I need to flip it? Oh, because it stops bubbling, right? Okay, 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 okay! I can smell what the rock is cooking. This is a work simulator! Can you believe? The fact that this is a work simulator for kids? I don't even... I'm so upset. What is this fucking... What am I... Why? What am I playing? Why am I playing this? Who would get this for their kid? I would be upset if I got this for my kid. Like, actually mad. Give it another Odin, god damn it. <laughs> You're not helping. You're not helping the situation. <laughs> Alright, two more pancakes. Frick! Three more pancakes. Oh my god. All the Odin votes. Oh man. Alright, we've. These are the last two. 
And we're done making pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. Got some bacon in, I'll put it in a pancake. Alright, I think the Odin votes have somehow broken. So we're just gonna, you know, restart that vote. I'm sure, sure that will fix it. There we go. <laughs> What's up, Nick? We're, we're having absolutely fun right now. What an absolutely fun day. <laughs> oh my god. Am I supposed to run into that? I don't think so. You can jump just constantly. Okay. Hold. Oh, frick. Hit a rock. What am I supposed to be collecting? Things? I think those hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm playing right now, but this is the worst. What am I even doing? Uh. What? I don't. What am I supposed to be doing? one of those I I I don't know what I'm doing I don't understand I Okay, you have to pick things up. Sure. This this sure is skateboarding. Okay, okay. I at least know what to do now, which is better than I knew earlier. But I'm not sure it makes this any more enjoyable. <laughs> To be honest, this might just at least maybe okay, okay. It'll all be worth it. We'll go to the amusement park. Now this is pod racing. God damn it! I will ban you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One more, and we're done with this hellhole that is skateboarding in this game. All right, did we do it? Did we do it? Okay, we did it. Are you having an absolutely fun day? I'm trying. Oh, it's Paperboy, but bad. And Paperboy's already kinda bad, so... There's a button for hitting the bell on it. Slowing down your speed actually slows down the game, which I find interesting. Like, look at this. The game itself actually slows, including his throw animation. Is this a remake of Pepsi Man? If only. Can you imagine Pepsi Man for the Game Boy Color? Where Am I supposed to be throwing this in the mailbox or the door? The doors aren't working. The window? Throw it in their window. That was right- okay. Gonna say. This is an absolutely fun day that we are currently having. <laughs> he does curve the newspaper a bit. This is pretty much just as bad as actual Paperboy, but way less interesting. The endless runner type? Yeah, it probably would have been something like that though. Reminder that you have a bell in this game for some reason. I, I, it's so hard to call this a game, but it is technically a game. What's weird is I would rather be playing Austin Powers. 
The Rockstar Classic Austin Powers operating system for your Game Boy Color. Four games of which were made, by the way. You like Paperboy? Paperboy's not a very good game. You might have nostalgia for Paperboy. It doesn't hold up very well, in my opinion. Alright, did you see that yump at the end? Aw, yeah. Oh my god, a race? We might actually have fun. Look at these boxcars. There might actually be fun, guys! <gasps> and gals? And you have a horn. Get over there! I'm having fun with or without you, nerd! Uh, okay. Yeah, boy. Okay. Why can't I vote dab? That's a good question. We should have a dab. Oh, frick! No! I've been bamboozled. Oh, get wrecked, nerd! Alright, we did it. Now that's what I call pod racing. <laughs> Alright, we had fun, I think. Uh, now what? Oh god, do I have to do these again? Hold on. There aren't actually 16 things to do. So... Does that... Do, do I just have to do them eight more... <laughs> Why, game? Oh, boy. There aren't actually enough games to play. So you have to play the same games twice to get enough to beat the game. I don't even. This is the fastest game, so you'll just play this one. Okay, we're just gonna play this game seven more times. That's how we'll have an absolutely fun day. <laughs> are, you guys, are you all ready for seven more times of this? This is the fastest game, so we're just gonna play this. This is- this is our life now. <laughs> Oh, I hit water. No! Yeah! Six more times. <laughs> it's a different racer every time, though, so maybe it is different? Probably not. It feels exactly the same. Just different colors. Also, you can sabotage them by knocking them into the side. Just an arcade where you play Arthur's Absolutely Fun Day? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> if only we were so lucky. Frick. I might actually lose this day and have to redo it again. I think I will. Shit. Yeah, we lost. Alright, six, six more times, I guess. Woo. My attempts to sabotage my opponent only led to me sabotaging myself. What's up, Pupstap? Thank you for your Odin, I appreciate it. Earlier, by the way. Oh shit, what, he's going fast. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd! Alright. Alternatively, we could make pancakes six more times, if you if you would like. We, we could, we could make pancakes. <laughs> that, that was certainly a fun day of pancake making in-game. Mm -mm. I like pancakes in game. Oh yeah, pancake. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Going that right side's a little rough because of the rough. Get it? Oh, it is faster though. At least there's no bad music. That's true. All right, four more times. Yeah, there was also extreme egg sorting. <laughs> That's true. Extreme egg sorting was definitely a thing. We figured out the strat to beating this era, this level like really consistently. Just body them in the, at the beginning and then don't screw up. That's basically all there is to this. It's a very oh, yeah, get right. All right, three, three more times till we have fun. 
Maybe this is a game about not having fun so you can have fun, which is an important life lesson. About being an adult, right? That has to be the the whole point of the game, right? When are speedruns? I mean, the speedrun would be... No! The speedrun would just be literally doing this 16 times. Because it's the fastest minigame. That's the speedrun. You've beaten the game. As long as you've played this 16 times in a row. Am I submitting this to that? <laughs> I mean, I could. <laughs> it's technically better than the Daggerfall. No, not Daggerfall. It's better than Arena speedrun. Daggerfall is actually a pretty okay speedrun. It's way better than Arena. It You do like 15 less, you know, of the same dungeon. Oh shit, I might lose. No! Yeah, get wrecked, nerd! Alright. What even is fun? Am I having fun right now? I don't know. <laughs> you have to do each minigame once and then pod racing? Oh my god, why? This or the Vanishing of Ethan Carter? Probably this. I fucking hate the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. That game insulted my intelligence. This is just bad. <laughs> and this is done way quicker. Oh, no! I might get bamboozled here. They're way ahead. Yeah, I got- I lost this one. Cheat. Crap, I'm out of alcohol. Now what do I do? Ooh. Yeah, this game doesn't hold your hand, at least. Unlike Ethan Carter. Which made... A very good point about definitely not holding your hand. Constantly. Alright, we did it. I think we beat the game. I hope we beat the game. To take a star? Jesus, that would've been worse. That would've been awful. Oh, did we do it? I think we did it. We get to have fun now. Oh god, I was hoping it was over. Is there actually more to do? Oh my god, there's more. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, why? Uh, <laughs> Why is there more? <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Why is there more? God damn it. <laughs> Why is there more? <laughs> a bunch, I guess. We're having an absolutely fun day right now, that's for sure really fun day. I can't actually throw it at the clown. Dang. Are you, are you having a fun day yet? <laughs> this is so... God, I hate this. <laughs> I'm really upset. <laughs> this is the worst. Can I leave? Oh god, how do I... I want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. I already made it into your park. How many times do I need to dunk this clown? Oh, thank god. I think these are actually just games you can play. The reward for playing the shitty games is to play more shitty games.
<laughs> you can check out any time you like, but you may never leave. I guess? Is it just mashing the A button? I don't... How do I make the balloon move? Oh, it's a water gun. Okay, 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 okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's broken. We had fun! Yay! Fun! Now we get to play skee ball. Oh, this is a really big skee ball board. Oh. 20. I'm having some absolute fun right now. I threw it all the way out. Well, Nico, cousin, let's go bowl some hoops. Oh, I also really like ski ball. Not this though. Clearly, it's earned a five because I've been playing it for so. Oh. Oh, world record! Getting a high score? Better call Twin Galaxies! I'm gonna have a high score pretty soon here. <laughs> oh. Can we- can we stop now? Maybe? Are there more fun games? Did we- did we play all the fun games? Have we beaten this? Not yet. We have to play more fun bumper games. Direct nerd! We're playing a game, technically! Ends in two. Nice! This is a fun percent run. I don't think you can actually win this. This is literally fucking bumper cars. God damn it. <laughs> Wimp. How? Hey! Yeah, so the reward for playing all the bad games is to play, like, shorter bad games? I think we're done. I think we can leave. Even with all these Odin votes, I think I think we've literally played everything this game has to offer. Which means I think I can go? Does this... Oh god, that just goes back. Uh, I believe we've beaten the game. The game is get 16 stars and then you're done. Uh, we, we have literally beaten the game. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done voting now. Uh, okay. We've beaten the game. We've played everything this game has to offer. Which is very little. I'm gonna put this as garbage genre. I think it's actual trash that they just spit out. There were a bunch of these games on Game Boy Advance where they would spit out like 15 really shitty mini games. And then put it all on one thing. You navigate a menu that goes between them like that on a map. And then you just play really bad games. And typically they were like Bratz or um, Arthur in this case. Or, or just really shitty like kid stuff. It was whatever they could pump out as quickly as possible. That is what this is. And I have played a game exactly like this on Game Boy Advance before. Uh, what I liked... Uh, oh, dude. What I didn't like. Everything? I guess? I, I, I think this is literally all I need to say about this game. There's like so little to say. It's just trash. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even it's so bad there's like nothing to say about it I I I should maybe start editing my verdict system to add in a zero I feel like there needs to be a zero but then I have to go back and like redo some of these to be zeros I was I was laughing out of fear <laughs> for my own sanity I definitely have way more fun with Austin Powers. Uh, if I was to put a zero on here somewhere, maybe pink or purple? But zero. There we go. The please dog no. Just don't even touch this. Stay away. There's literally nothing of value. I wouldn't even give it a one. To groovy. <laughs> I feel like this will screw up my uh my uh uh statistical analysis of it if I put groovy but yeah sure groovy out of three good enough for me if we just start messing with the system then everything's everything's gone everything's gone man but sure why not let's have fun with it oh that was that was a video game that we just played that was certainly a video game uh, I believe we're going to call it on that wonderful masterpiece of gaming that we've just played. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was definitely a game we played. Alright, so in that case, uh, I think we're done for tonight. Let me... Play some music on the way out. <laughs> so let me see who is currently streaming while we work on our outro here. Because it's the Star Song. The fucking Star Song. It's the Star Song. The fucking Star Song. It's the Star Song, and you will have a hard time getting out of your head, because it's the Star Song. The fucking Star Song. Etc, etc. Uh, I'm gonna go and give... The fucking Star Song. <laughs> Thanks, Osi. Um, let's give Cam a host here. He's playing Slay the Spire, which will be fun, I think. Happy night, everyone.